Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. The ability of particles to become charged is influenced by the humidity of the surrounding environment. In low humidity environments, particles are more likely to become charged and therefore can be separated more easily using static electricity. In high humidity environments, however, particles are less likely to become charged, which can make separation more difficult. So why does humidity have such a significant impact on the ability of particles to become charged? Well, it has to do with the presence of water molecules in the air. In high humidity environments, there's more water vapor in the air, which can coat or surround the surface of organic particles and prevent them from becoming charged. Not only does humidity coat particles, more on this later, but water vapor essentially promotes the particle's ability to lose its electrical charge as vapor acts as a conductor. Conversely, in dry environments, dry air acts as an insulator. This poses a significant challenge when charging particles. To overcome this challenge, the industry has developed several strategies. One strategy is to control the humidity levels in the environment or room where particles are being separated. By reducing the humidity, we can create a more favorable environment for particles to become charged and be separated using static electricity. This can be challenging since temperature is also an important factor to consider as many dehumidifiers generate heat during operation. Another strategy is to use additional methods such as ionizing agents uh, to enhance the charge ability of organic particles. These methods can help overcome the effects of humidity and increase the efficiency of separation uh, processes. Think cold plasma. A third method, which is what we implemented, was the use of either an inert gas, such as nitrogen or carbon dioxide, or dry compressed air within the electrostatic device. Conveniently, harvests in areas that practice traditional dry sift and static methods tend to be cool and dry during harvest. This may be a reason the method became popular in those locations. In conclusion, the effects of humidity on the ability of organic particles to charge can pose significant challenges. However, through innovative strategies such as humidity control and the use of ionizing agents, we can overcome these challenges. I'd like to know if you have experience or ideas about this process. If so, please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.